Okay, I'm just going to talk about two of the quote quote trickier cases of factoring that you might encounter. The first example I'm going to look at is where you have multiple variables being used. And then the second example um, will involve a problem in which the trinomial already has a greatest common factor. So those are the two cases we'll take a look at. This first one I have x squared minus 6xy minus 40y squared. And I think initially seeing the y and the y squared in there throw people off, but really we're just working through the same factoring process we already know. We're trying to find two numbers that multiply to negative 40 and add to negative 6. As we've done in the past, then I'm going to go ahead and make a list of factors. Um, different ways to multiply to negative 40. So we'll jot these on the side. And if you find the pair, you can of course stop making your list. I'm going to keep going for a little bit here. i like you to see the, the exhaustive list, just so you know how long the list can be. So don't give up, right? Um, let's see, 5 and 8, I guess we got them all. Okay, so there's our list, the different ways to multiply to negative 40. I'm going to look through this list though now and look for the pair that also adds to negative 6. So it's looking like we need the positive 4 and the negative 10. Okay, if we didn't have the y and the y squared term, we would just know our answer is, is there for us, x plus 4 times x minus 10. So, there's just a small change that we have to do with the y. x squared at the front, of course, would still come from just x times x, so that's as normal. We just found the numbers we need would be a positive 4 and a negative 10. That would give us back that middle value of negative 6 and that last value of negative 40. So, I just need to include my y's at the end to get that y squared term and also to get the xy term in the middle. So really no different than the factoring you guys have already done, just appears a little bit harder. And again, you can check your work by FOIL to make sure we did it okay there. So that's one um, case that maybe hopefully now you feel is not as tricky as you thought. The second one here, I have 3x squared plus 27x plus 60. If you look at it right away, you might think, okay, i got to factor by grouping. That might be your first thought. Factoring by grouping is that process where I'm going to be multiplying my first times my last term. So in this example, that would look like 3 out front times 60 at the end. I'd be looking for factors of 180. That's a big number, right? So if possible, I'd like to work with smaller values. There is a way to do that. In this case, 3, 27, and 60, stop and think about it, those are all divisible by 3. So what I'm going to do to make this process easier is I'm going to factor out 3 as the greatest common factor. That will leave me now with x squared for my first term, just a 9x for my middle term, and a 20 for my last term. And suddenly the trinomial in parentheses feels much more comfortable to us. So this 3 that we factored out is now just there for the right. It will continue down the, with the problem. Uh, we can't remove it, but it just carries down out front. And if we turn our focus now to just x squared plus 9x plus 20, that's really saying find two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to 9. If you like, you could jot down the possibilities on the side here. And we find that the correct pair would be 4 and 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 plus 5 is 9. So the trinomial that we had on the second line factors to x plus 4 times x plus 5. We're done. To check your work, you could FOIL the binomials together and then distribute the 3. You'd end up with the same original problem. Um, so maybe now a question before I end this would be, do I have to factor the 3 out first? And the answer to that is no, you don't, but it is typically a time-saving step. Um, I would rather look for two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to 9 than I would have liked to find two numbers that multiply to 180 and add to 27. So typically just makes an easier problem for yourself. 
Those are some of the trickier cases. Hope you feel a little bit more comfortable with them.